Oh then, so this is uh, Bermondsey, obviously home of Millwall. And Derby's playing Millwall today, so that's why I'm heading down this way. Uh, so I'm heading east now, I think the sun's that way at south. So head east and then um, see where we end up. It's quite a nice uh, leafy bit of the, of the borough. It's quite a good angle there with the church in the background. And along here you've got the generic nail bars, food and wine, um, chicken bar, chippy. So the Africans have got their own, uh, their own rose looking at this now. That'll be the next thing they'll be coming then. So only a way to know you're back in the UK. Uh, looking back in there, I didn't see any of them in, in America, Palestine flags. And this is inside one of the parks. Southwall Park. Honestly, I don't know why I do it to myself. Every time I have a coffee, I always think that's disgusting afterwards. I've been hearing about this paper, paper mile thing that apparently could be coming in across the country. Don't know if anyone knows anything about it. Interesting uh, coat of arms on there. An axe for a crown. It looks a bit like a, a bit devilish, that does. Anyway. Along here, uh, looks a bit like an old Roman settlement or some sort of historic castle of some sort. Angel Pub, rebuilt in 1837. Uh, oldest tavern sign in Rotherhithe, Rive, recorded to the 17th century. Yeah, just to correct myself, uh, King Edward III Manor House, uh, 1327 to 77, that was his reign, so obviously this is from the 14th century. Some pretty odd uh, statues around here. I'll find out the history behind us in a minute. Got a shovel there. Random cat. And then uh, this little girl. Yeah, just to give it to some uh, context, so Dr. Salter, Dr. Salter's Daydream, uh, the Salter statues, the Salter's lives were marred by a great personal tra tragedy in 1910, their only child, Joyce, aged eight, died from scarlet fever. To win trust and to avoid privilege, they had chosen to live amidst the disease-ridden slums and have their daughter educated locally, with a cost proved high. What a wine privilege. Um, though Joyce's death bonded the Salter's forever with the people of Bermondsey, they were inconsolable. That is the story, the sculpture Diane Govan reflects on this assembly of statues. Dr. Salter's daydream, in his old age, Alfred sits imagining Ada, Joyce and her cat, as they once were in happier days long by. That's really nice, actually. So, this is him daydreaming about his, uh, his late daughter, and obviously his wife in earlier days, when they were younger. Lovely, nice little touch. And knowing what the statues are about, obviously this would be the uh, the best angle really, with him with him in the background. Perhaps being a bit cynical, but um, thing like King's Stairs, Prince Princess Stairs, have probably both got history tied to them. King Edward III being nearby, um, 
So I thought I'd record it just in case in the future. Obviously the Liberals try to rename it to, I don't know, what, Queen and Princess maybe. And the London bubble. And just a bit further on you got the ship pub by the London bubble. Down there. And then you've got the uh, Rob Rive workshops with the church in the background. Here we go, got some historic plaques, fire engine house. And of course, I'd say autumn is the best season myself. Everyone's got their own preference, but I don't think you can beat it really. All the different colours you get. This looks quite historic actually. And uh, interestingly, this is from 1613, it was like a, a school and I've got the watch house now as a, like a cafe, just below it. So also within the watch house uh, they would have required a watchman because people used to go around snatching bodies out there from the burial ground nearby. Sailing of the Mayflower, 1620 the Mayflower sailed from Rotherive on the first stage of its epic voyage to America. In command was Captain Christopher Jones of Rotherive. So like I was saying yesterday, America is only what, 400 years old? And obviously uh, an invention of Britain, Spain, France, Germany. And there's a statue here to Christopher Jones, landed 102 planters. Uh, this is obviously to the Mayflower again. Obviously you can interpret this two ways really. Obviously there's a bit of a potential Jimmy Savile look to it, but um, I don't think it would have been intended that way, I hope. He's doing that weird thing with his fingers actually as well. I don't know. I'd like to think there's good intentions, but you know what the rulers of the world are like. Either way, it'll be something the Liberals will be coming for because um, not many people notice it. And obviously it's to do with um, traveling to America, slaves, all that sort of stuff. So, worth recording. It's a nice little touch for all the Union flags on the, on the window there. This is near the uh, Brunel Museum, one of the old border houses. So far, this is the Brunel Museum. It's quite a nice fact, I've kind of overgrown that bit with the cobbled uh, streets there. Yeah, so there's the Brunel Museum. So it's eight pounds to go in, I think it is. So I'll give that one a miss. I thought this was quite a good uh, example here. So you got a, a beer can, get it in focus, next to this um, model of a train. Obviously, since the collapse of all our industries now, most blokes have kind of lost their purpose in life. So this is where they end up um, spending their time. Let's go and see what that bridge is meant to be. Oh. So this is meant to be the Hungersford Bridge over the Thames, 1845. How old that is? 1789, Charles Hay and Son. Some more uh, interesting history there. So Cumberland Wharf is the approximate site from which the Mayflower set sail from Ameri for America. The pilgrims who were persecuted in England, again, white privilege, Hope for freedom to practice their faith in the new world. After docking in Southampton to pack up supplies, they finally sailed from Plymouth on the 6th of September 1620. 
Uh, the ship arrived in America at a harsh time of year, which the pilgrims struggled to endure, but they found friendship and salvation in the Native American people. Two members of the uh, Wampanoag tribe, tribe named Somerset and Squanto came to their aid. Uh, Squanto had once been abducted and slaved by a British explorer. He had escaped and, as a consequence, spoke English. He acted as a translator and guide to the pilgrims with his tribe, teaching them how to grow corn, hunt and survive. The Mayflower returned to England 6th of May 1621. The ship's master, Captain Christopher Jones, died in 1622 and is buried in the churchyard of St Mary's, Rotherhithe. And uh, here's a statue to it anyway. So this is where... Well, yeah, so this is where um, the founding of America really began, at this point. <laughs> Little staffy. <laughs> yeah, what's he reading? Sunbeam Week, Weekly. And uh, what is it about? So, like innovation and stuff like that. But again, you can guarantee the Liberals will be uh, eyeing up this and looking for a way to tear it down, linking it to slavery and genocide and blah blah blah. Fair enough, bad things happen, but uh, you know, it's history at the end of the day. And you shouldn't be removing it. This will be as far down as I make it today. I think this is called Bermondsey Beach, not 100% uh, certain on that. Maybe Rob Ride Beach. Bermondsey, Bermondsey Beach would obviously sound better. It must be nice in the summertime because you've literally got a beach you can go and sunbathe on, depending on the tide. Quick thought, um, I know George Orwell's 1984 comments on like a pyramid structure being in the centre of London, uh, like the Shard, funnily enough, and it even lights up the top bit, um, you know, like the old Illuminati thing, top of the pyramid, but it seems like the New World Order stuff is all about glass, glass architecture, because in the EU, in Brussels, they've got the, the, like the Tower of Babel, um, Tower of Babylon, and um, that's glass, but obviously it's meant to... Uh, sim um, meant to emulate the uh, the Babylonian structure, you know, with Nimrod and the one in, in Babylon, basically. But that's made out of glass, so it's just a thought. It's quite a unique thing to see, rather than the endless Uber boats that go past, or the Thames rockets. And just back at the uh, statue down here, I've just took a bit more time to have a look at what actually the statue represents. So it's... Um, meant to represent the ghost of William Bradford. And, uh, the magazine of the reading, it's like a 1935, so 300 years later, and he looks shocked and outraged to see how the United States of America has become since his first landing. Um, yeah, so. So you are standing above the first tunnel built under a river where anywhere in the world, opened in 1843, designed by Sir Mark Brunel, his son, Isambard Kingdom Brunel, played a key role in his construction. The tunnel is a brick box enclosing two interconnected archways stretching all the way to Wapping. Uh, the box is 366 metres long, nearly 7 metres wide and 11 metres high. Now, to be fair, it probably was worth going in that museum, but maybe another time. So that's the uh, Captain Kidd, only a week ago or so. It's a Baton Rouge USS Kidd. Never covered it before, but a uh, nice little monument to Queen Elizabeth II here. Apparently, originally, it was like a spher spherical monument, and then the kids managed to some, somehow hack it down, and then they put this there instead. Got a bit of a party boat going on over there, the Dutch master. Southwark Park Act, 150 years. So this is to do with uh, rather eye old town hall, the Caridites, Greek art architectural support in the form of a female figure which replaces a column or pillar. So 
Sorry guys, got no food today. See a lady there, just uh, telling me there's a heron over here. Just by the boat. Uh, well on the way to the den now, uh, coming to the south of South War Park. Um, so, hopefully this will lead me out. This looks like an old church, Bilston Gate. It's a nice old building there. And that's uh, a bit like Goodbye Charlie Bright, looking sort of estate really. Even got kids on there playing football.